We're up to place of So incredible be the Maimah said that the, the meaning of Saif Master Machshav Atchilus, so there's two diukim here. What are the two diukim in this statement that convey the Givaldik Chidush here? No, no, in the in the Lashen, the, the Lashen of the Lashen Chazal, it's a Lashen Chazal, it's a Lashen of the Lachadoidi. It's all conveyed in the Lachadoidi. There's two diukim in the. Given the pay. There's no more there. Huh? Two diukim that convey this. Not Tchila Semachshava, but Machshava Tchila. And not Stam Maise, but Sof Maise. So these two diukim are. Everything is con con conveyed in essence in those two diukim. Machshava tchila means not the first machshava, but that which precedes the first machshava, the first conscious motive, is, which in the case of giving to the poor is this oidus of Rachim Rabim Shutim, the Mailot Lahetim Libruv, God's desire to bestow good upon. His creatures. That's the first mashav, but shavat chila means even deeper than that. And seif masa doesn't just mean what. Mashavat chila does not mean, as we thought it was the first thought. No, it's the chila before the thought. And seif masa doesn't mean what we thought it was. But we would assume it was before we learned this moment. We assume that safe master means the final act. It doesn't mean that. Safe master means the way the macabre gets your final act. The self is the response of the macabre. And the extraordinary statement said in the moment is what, what is the four words, three words? What's the statement of the moment which? The, the, the reality is the Maimah doesn't really explain. It just says it is a Matthias. What is that? Which is the answer to everything. And that is... In the words of the Maimah, we couldn't say it unless the Maimah said it. The fusion of Kabul, Kodum, Bushorshe, Alashpo, the Gam El Shredish Ashpo, Fisha Itza Mashpir. Because the Makabul, his source is rooted, the, the, other, the other, deeper than in me, deeper than in my need to bestow benevolence, because that's how I'm hardwired. I'm a Rahman, Jews Rahman, and by Shalom again, the Hasadi Kodum Bashor Shel Ashpo, the Gamal Sherish Ashpo. Now, why is this such an extraordinary statement? Before you try and answer it, why is it such an extraordinary statement? That the, that the McGill student would ask here. And even now, Talmud from Mir and Ponyevich, it's a thing I immediately ask, what are you talking about? How can the other be rooted in you deeper? First of all, how's the other rooted in you altogether? Altogether. But what does this mean? He's, he's the other person, rooted in me. They tell, not, just, not only is he connected to me, Kodum is connected to me in a deeper place. It's such a deep place in me that defines my whole identity, my Rachma, Bala Rachma. He, the outside, is rooted in me deeper than, than me, than my conscious me. But this ignores. That's the answer of the mind. We tried to explain it yesterday. Right, it was yesterday that we addressed it. 
What did we say? Say like look up. Okay, you really wish to elaborate. Before you answer, the same also the Maila, that find the words in the Maila where he applies it to God. Not not many words, but a little bit. Just a tiny paragraph. It's four lines, and within those four lines, five lines. It's a few words. He says there's Ishtar Shalos, Tzad Ishtar Shalos, then the principle of not safe and betchilas and safe and is an apt description. The final act expresses my primary motive. Very simple. Then there's a Ma'ilim Ishtar Shalos, and it's higher than than Tchila. High even than Tchila. Machshava Tchila. Even higher than Tchila. Then, Magyayla Magyayla Davka Saif Maisa. What's the Saif Maisa? That's not your act. That's the Makabal. And the way he receives it. Before we give the explanation, how did he demonstrate that the Makabal touches us so deeply? How did he prove it, as it were? Because if he didn't, then the following would not happen. What is that? Additional time you give the Makabo receives the Hashba in a positive way. It wouldn't be Messiah if the Makabo didn't receive it in a negative way. What would we have? What if the we go through all this effort, we give the guy, find him a job, give him money, and he Ignores it, spurns it, rejects it. What what would be expected expected reaction? Don't care. I would just express myself. No, you would care. But what's the nature of your caring? Caring would be more of a my hashba is wasted. I wasted my time. He's an ingrate, whatever, a whole lot of emotions. You know, the, the case here is not he spurns it so much, it didn't it didn't work. It spurns it also, that's even a deeper level, to, uh, deeper sensitivity, but it's the same thing. It didn't work. It didn't help. All the effort didn't help. Or he wasn't a couple safe upon him. The office didn't accept it graciously. So I would regret it, waste the time, etc. But it wouldn't be inside over the actual Nashpur. And conversely, if he receives it, um, you know, gratefully, why would it want to make me give more? Well, I continue doing this, but why more? Why more? The more means because it's touching me in a place that's hiding the Shpa itself, like the Mayan. That's an observable fact, he says, that, that we can see even the Mata that the recipient touches us even higher than the place from where we gave him in the first place. Their actual rachamim. Clear, that clear? Now what's the hasbara? How could he possibly touch me so deeply? So what did we suggest? Not in the maimim, I'm just suggesting based on, on what it says in Chesidus. No, So Ephraim, you're starting to say, what? Yeah, but it only applies to a Jew, though. But uh, yeah, you, you, this whole you, thing. Huh? So, what's the answer? McGill student sitting. I said, "Okay, what are you saying?" I want to understand what you said. Are you saying that he's rooted? You trying to imply that he's rooted in the uh, in in at some higher than. Than, than, than the person who's giving? Not than the person who's giving. No, not than the person who's giving. We're saying that all Jews are one. At what level are we one? Not, not in our conscious construct, not in the personality, not in our midas ha-rachamim, that we're by shonim, rachmonim, gremim, lechasodim, we're naturally uh, compassionate and benevolent and 
easily prone to guilt. It's not where he's rooted. Where's he rooted? He's rooted in my Yatsim and the Which is why another Jew affects me so deeply. We see it today. What happens to another Jew? It goes, it goes deeper than my Rachmanus has been. We hear a tragedy. So my Rachmanus has been like uh, offended. No, my very Jewishness is, is shook to the core when we hear such things because it's at that level that we're one. So the only, the macabre, the other year, the way he receives it doesn't just validate what I gave. This was a, it makes me feel fulfilled. It doesn't just make me feel fulfilled because I did express my natural disposition to be merciful and compassionate. And so here's someone that, that has given me the opportunity to be fulfilled that way. That's not what's going on. What's going on here is, here is that I'm connecting to this Yid. I'm really, in so doing, because of him, engaging expression and expressing my essential Jewishness. So if it doesn't, if it, if it isn't effective, then there's a, he's not helped. There's a deficiency, Tsar, therefore, at the core, and if he is, there is a new tainug, a expression of the core that manifests itself in, in greater tainug. So a very complex or elaborate and nuanced language. He's <laughs> saying that Yidin are one, and we affect each other, each other at this essential level beyond, beyond an, an intellect, emotional connection, intellectual co collection, connection, uh, shared, shared. Uh, it's not a shared uh, conscious, it's not shared consciousness, it's shared etzim is what, what Jews share. We can be vastly different and, and, and argue bitterly on the conscious level. And even not have rachmonis on some level. You deserve this, but by etzim I'm still deeply affected. Because we're you that's what we're seeing today, Mamish, in all of its uh, pain, the Tsar. And that's so if Master. The safe master, not just my act, the safe master, the focus on the makabal, touches the mashpia, machshova, not just his machshova, trila, not even trila, he says even hiding trila, the very yet. The mighty gum begins trila, that's his line, that he, a few words that didn't say before. Trila was the starting point. This is the mighty gum begins trila, as he goes into more detail. Again, because we're Jewish. So how does this apply to the Avish? The same thing. You, you tell me, let me, let me, you do the work. Now apply this to the Abish and us. That's not the starting. No, tell Zog, no. He's trying to figure out and can you speak up? Yeah, make sure you. Yeah, go ahead. Is like what's the hashfa? They're talking about hashfa here. What's the the hashfa between the Abish and us? Is it that he created us? The racham b'chaman providing for us and giving us yeah. everything. Gashem Yisrochnis, the great provider, life, everything, up to and including Torah and mitzvahs. That's the Ashpur. So what's the what does it all come down to now? You apply this to the Abish and us.
Same same thing, no? Walk it through, say, say it. And the whole point of the Hashva is that we should receive it from him. And through that, um, affect him in a certain way that when we, with ultimate Hashva's parents, when we do parents, this was that. Uh, Can you guys hear? Yeah, it goes a little louder, maybe. I have a hard time hearing. When we do, so when we do Terry and Mitzvah, that it causes almost retroactively the, to him the, the desire to, to give us greater additional respect. Okay, I'm, nothing you're saying is, is incorrect. I don't know if I'm a Gil student that understands yet what you're talking about, but what you're saying. Or our mere Talmud. I just walk it through the whole Lahitiv Libru of the whole project of creation, everything. The real cause is because Eden are part of it. You get the the same thing that applies with one Jew and another. Because you're a part of him. So the next part of the equation, just walking you through this, is not a given. Demis says even they were a part of him is kind of a decision, but it's not the same decision as creation. So walking you through, and Hashem, but it's really a part of him. I couldn't get any closer. Mamish. Now Hashem wants the Neshama come down into a goof, which is only how other the Neshama and through tremendous symptom and overtly, consciously, experientially very distant. It couldn't get more distant. And there he wants us, it is not stated in the Maime, but just putting it all together, the Khaira. There, what, what's what's the what's what you're asking? What does he want to bestow upon us? What does he want to happen? He, all the bestowal that he wants that he wants to bestow upon us is in order for what the gashmi is the ruchni is toy the mitzvahs. Why did he give this all to us so that we reveal down here in the gulf that we're one with him and that one does embrace the body and the world? That's the nisave for didabet achtoyim. Like in a marriage, you're one, you're soulmates. It happened under the chuppah. Well, you, you're soulmates before, but that's where it's clinched. So what do you want? To, now you're going to build a home together. Now you're going to build a home together. What's the point of your home? Your home is a place that's going to, every detail is going to reflect that you are one. That's the point of your home. Your little castle. Your abode, your dealer, that will reflect in all of the choices that you make and what to purchase, what to buy, where to put it and where to live will, uh, will reflect the uniquely you, the two of you as one. Of course, the guy has no clue what to do, what to get, so he, she knows. But the point is, it's we. And then your children are a further extension of you. Soul clusters, soulmates. Isn't it more about us making him happy? It's not about True, uh, we're our job is to refine the world and to bring getlachkeit right over here and to in every part of our life. But at the end of the day, the the I focus, know, okay. the I'm emphasis saying, is, is not about is... Uh, it's not about the avoided. Uh, the emphasis, the hate of libru of mafaisay that 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 the abisher should be happy. Well, that's our question: is what is he happy with? What does he want? What he wants is, is the relationship with us that our atzmizdike oneness, that's one in atzmos, be revealed down here. That's what he wants. That's the nisav. And what's the dira got to do with it? That the world reflected like a home, like we just said. The home is a reflection. You walk in, you see, oh, this is her, this is him. And as we always point out, it's dafk in the details. Not that there's a door and a window and a toilet and a faucet, and an oven. And the wall is painted. It's, it's all the details of it that, oh, that's them.
Every home has a smell, friends. Everything has a an aroma. Gdeach is a very deep expression of the Pneumius and the Shaman. So as you walk into a, into a home, and with your eyes closed, you can, if you know the people, you know where you are. There's a reyach. I don't just mean a smell. So there's a vibe, there's a reyach, even an aroma to a certain degree. So can we, can we repeat this term, a guild student, to the Mira Talmud? But think it through until you can say it to yourself and you can explain it. So let's repeat again the final, they're distilling it. What's the whole purpose of creation? Where does it all begin? It all begins with Yisrael Ola B'Machshava. That's how it all begins. As Chazal tells us, it precedes Torah, it precedes creation. Seven things that precede creation. And at the top of the list is Torah, and before Torah is even Yisrael. So it all begins with Eden. Now, what's how, at that level, that's in Atmos. That's the critical beginning. Now, what's the desire now? That we should receive from him. That this first of all descend. He wants to send, like the king sends his son far away. This is a classic marshal to the king who sends his son far away to a Medina Khareva, destroyed society, destroyed, destroyed country with the purpose of building it. And what's the point? This way the king and his son are really close. Even as the king is far, the sun is far away. And that's even a deeper closeness than when he was in the king's embrace in the palace. Classic marshal of Chassidus. But it's all about the relationship with the king's son. That's me and that's you. And Hashem's desire is that that relationship be dafka. And even as we're far away in the Medina Chareva, Elam with lots of needs for which the Ebishter provides. And the point of providing all these needs is the relationship. The needs are Gashmias and Ruchnias and Torah and Mitzvahs, everything. It's all, here's the sentence that will. Ah, you're here. Here's the sentence that will tie it all together. It is all, everything, the Racham, the Chanun, Torah and Mitzvahs creation, it's all in order. To reveal the etzim and the shoma down here, that we are one with him, even here and especially here. That's somewhat clear. Only here, also, huh? also only here, especially here. If it's here, then it's it's on all levels, like a lever, right? Lift the bottom, the whole building lifts. If we're one with God, even the Elam Hazah, with a the goof, then we're one with him at every deepest level of the Neshama. All the levels of 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 uh, Neshama, Chai, Yichid, they all become one in the deepest way if we're one even here. And even here, it takes Mesidus Nefesh and Tere Mitzvahs, and it takes a lot of Ashbar from the Ebesh to do We've got to give a lot of a lot of racham and ashpah gashmis, all of it. But you're only able to do it here. You're only, only able to, to 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 do that here in Takhtan. We can't do saying? it in. What's we the, can't do it. We can't do any connection to the Abishur in any higher level. There is only the level. The connection is there. You don't have to do anything. The chelik will come in Malamash. It is. Now we're going to work to reveal that is even here. Yeah. At the source, it is. No work required there. Naveda starts when the Nahad is sent into the Gulf and this distance, Helvesta, Naveda, and, and the whole kitten caboodle of since the dawn of creation. And despite all of that, and in all of that, forge the connection, I am a yid, and everything, I don't forget you, and I live that life, that's the Kavan. 
And the home, you build an elaborate home, and every detail of the home is all you. It's all it is. Huh? You know what I'm saying? That we do it down here. Yeah. What causes the deeply tiny for him? Yeah. More than that. Oh, that the ribri tainug means unlocks the etzim. And when the etzim is unlocked, when it comes all the shpa in greater and greater measure. But that, I mean, unless it, it yeah. causes the ribri tainug, then, then it was when we were the Maila. We were already connected. We are already connected to the Maila before we come down here, like you're saying, the etzim. So unless it causes the ribri tainug for him, what's the point of the whole project, right? The whole project is that there it was without Avayda and here it's through Avayda. Right. There it was without, not challenged, here it's challenged. There it was, as he says in the mind of, of Noyach, Be'etzem, and here it's Be'peyel. And the whole, this Ava is for the Be'peyel, even though Lamayla ain't Kreyachos Be'peyel, but that's in the Sava. Question, the, the, the Maimur's emphasis then on Hashbah, it, it, in this, in in yeah. is just almost an example to it seems to be now just almost an example to show the the connection just to, to show us that the point is not the shpa, the point is the, the relationship because ultimately it's that not the shpa from the from the it's the how we receive it. Okay, we'll continue on Monday business.